because we live in such a low-lying elevation, a low-lying coastal plain, where we have some of our major cities here in Texas, just small increments in sea level rise, combined with an increase in population that we expect over the next 50 years, means that we need to start doing things differently. The land subsidence varies quite remarkably along the Texas coast, and that's why we see different rates of what we call relative sea level rise along the Texas coast. It's a relatively uh, simplistic way of looking at the impacts of relative sea level rise, but it's as if we're in a bathtub and we're just raising the water and we have more inundation of the land, uh, places where people are living and working and, and recreating. And, and in Corpus Christi, if we continue the current trends of relative sea level rise in this area, we'll have about 25% of the population um, in areas that would be underwater if, if that were to occur. We focus on, on how we adapt to it. Whether or not we can actually stop the rise in sea level is not something we really address here. And I don't think we can. Even if we just extrapolate our current rates of rise into the future and add a lot more people and activity to the coastal zone, we know that we're going to have to adapt.